So two of the um, lesser discussed ones um, of NYCC New York Comic Con is uh, we have once again one uh, re-release in just like how with Titan Returns we had a few legend scale toys from the Generations line getting re-released standalone. Uh, we have another one. Just Cosmos was released in Titan Returns. His MicroMaster slash Minicon wasn't included with him. And he got a slight, very unnoticeable paint change where it was like a darker green instead of a lighter green. His Autobot logo was shrinked. And he was released standalone, just like that. This time around, it's the same thing. We have Shrapnel, or in this case called Scrapnel, mm -hmm. um, which originally, again, in the Generations line, was a character that was packaged together with a Minicon, in this case, the Reflector. Anyone remembers that little camera that he came with? And from the looks of these renders, uh, looks like slight paint changes. Uh, I'm looking at my original one. Like It looks like the, auto, the Decepticon logo is slightly changed, too. But otherwise, a straight-up repackage. The only thing you would pretty much be getting different from this if you're a hardcore collector is... Just like with the Cosmos, you get a trading card that you didn't get previously. Uh, so with nice art, I'll probably... give it that. Yeah, some really good art. Yeah, so you'll get that trading card art essentially. Um, the new thing to take away from this though is there is a wind charger. Now, wind. Ch the funny thing with wind charger, and I've been I've been talking like about about this for a while now, is when we had that really stellar scout line during Revenge of the Fallen like around 2009, 2010, mm -hmm. where this every Scout toy was just Knocking 10 out, out of part. 10. Yeah. For the most part, for um, the most part. I wouldn't say all of them, but a good chunk of them. A lot of, of them, them, though. Yeah, a lot of them were like pretty damn good. And um, a kind of sister line of those Scouts was you had the Revenge of the Fallen ones, but you also had the Reveal the Shield ones, which were like, they were movie, not movie toys, but they were more an excuse just to re re you know, release more classics toys at the time when classics wasn't the name of the, the brand anymore. Right. So that's where you got your uh, Agent Jazz or Agent Meister, you got your, your Bludgeon figure, and in this case, you got a really good Wind Charger out of it. That had like flippable hands that could you know have his little uh, his little uh, electromagnetic magnet weapons. He looked a lot like a charger, um, like a Dodge Charger and stuff. Yeah. Just a really really good figure. Then you fast forward a couple years and then going back to what I was mentioning before with those Generations Legend scales like where Cosmos came from, they had a really cheapy kind of Legends Wind Charger that came out. And I actually voted that. Uh, one of the worst Transformers of, I believe, 2015, just because I felt it didn't even serve a purpose anymore. Mm. We already got, like, if you're going to do the same character, do it in a different scale or make it better. Yeah. In this case, they did it in the same scale and made it worse. Um, and the and when I say make it worse was in, in that time when that thing came out, and I believe, again, it was like 2012 um, or 2013, when that thing came out, it came out during a time when Transformer toys were going more budget. Yeah, exactly. Less, less, less articulation, less paint. Where again, those Scouts came out at a time when everything seemed to be, you know, going balls to the wall, and everything was, you know, the best that it could be. We go to this one now, and it's like this. This is an ugly looking wind charger. <laughs> um, I'm like, you know, it's funny. You look at the art. And it's like the the art looks nothing like the the package art looks nothing like the figure itself. Um, yeah, the head is weird. Yeah, um, it both. is. I'm looking at the actual image of the toy and the package art, and I'm like, this head is weird. It's a very weird head. Um, people have been confused if it's if it has the headmaster gimmick or not. Um, it doesn't at all. It's the same like a lot of the other uh, scout-ish kind of uh, figures that they just they're they're straight up transformers. And they are able to then house uh, a character yeah. or a Titan Master or a Prime Master to drive the the vehicle. So, and as a result, because it houses that gimmick, obviously to make that space in the cockpit, sacrifices had to be made. Very simple articulated figure. I mean, you could just look at the toy and figure out the transformation pretty easily. I, again, we got a really good Wind Charger toy seven years ago. Um, I don't see the purpose here. I mean, I really don't. Even even the uh, the alt mode um, just takes away 
the fact that during the movie time they had the licenses to a lot of those cars and now mm. it's like you know, can't really do that charger well, he looks he looks more just... like a a, tra- a, a a trans am i guess i say like, like a, a even like some of like a fire even the newer mustangs a little bit i would i know? would say more like 80s like early 80s firebird is what i'm feeling from this perhaps one. you're probably right but it's 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 just again we got a really good one before Takara then put one out in a two pack afterwards. It came with Wipeout, which was a, like a repaint of himself, but evil. Everything, like, you know, get that one. You're looking for a wind charger for your, like, classics display. Came out a long time ago. This is a solid pass, though. 